Hi everyone, this is LAR Games, and uh, well, I've finally caught up to um, the game. I, I've done, well, I've caught up to all of the uh, story and Archon quests and the event. So I did the Arataki Ito event, the one of many, <laughs> but the latest one. And um, yeah, I'm ready to watch the 4.7 trailer. Uh, obviously, I still have basically every um, hangout event to do. Uh, <laughs> so I'll get to that eventually, but uh, that's really not one that like you really have to catch up on usually. So while well, I will have to do that at some point and keep in mind, you know, when it came out so I could like fit it into the uh, timeline of the game, um, it's never the priority. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm excited for 4.7. You're more excited for 5.0. I know there's a um, an Atlan teaser, but I I don't know if I want to watch that yet because I kind of want to be exposed to that new um, location through the game or or in the uh, the trailer at the very least. I want to I want to be surprised when I first see it, you know. Um, and if I'm just teased and already shown some locations i feel like it won't have the same impact you know as watching the trailer so i'm gonna wait for the trailer uh as for this i'm very excited because i think this is gonna be the last update before natlin which means we're gonna get some danes lift stuff and usually that's like the uh the part of the story that's like the most revealing you know the part where it shocks you and there's like really awesome lore drops uh yeah, so I'm really excited. Um, that said, let's uh, let's take a look. What's in four point seven? Hold on. Uh, my audio isn't working for some reason. That should work now. Okay, let's try that again. Would you join us and play Mar Chose Hunter Judgment Day? Oh no. This Not a mini game. Adapted from the real history of the Mar Chose Hunters. You all will play the role of Hunter. He's going to visit Mondstadt and resolve a series of events unfolding in the capital. Oh, Claran is going to come out. I'm sure some people are excited for that. From the Mar Chose Hunter tradition. They fought against monsters, while I fight against lawbreakers. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's law. Oh, she's a five star. For some reason, I thought she was a four star. I mean, it kind of makes sense. It's just her design Luke. gives me four star vibes. Time to testify. So she's electro, but her like, her lightning is blue. It seems. Every page of a storybook is a segment of the present. It's so vast and mysterious. Ah, uh, this guy's finally coming out. He, he can't do Electra I mean, he can't do, like, the same kind of stuff that Sino can anymore, so I guess he has to adapt <laughs> to a new combat style. <laughs> so maybe he'll be a four-star now that he's not as powerful as Sino. Now this one's coming out, too. Man, this is a really skippable banner, isn't it? <laughs> I was never a fan of her in the story, and I don't like her design, obviously. Don't be nervous. Just relax. A strange disease. One I suspect that every Fontanian suffers from. But they don't trust me at all. Her story is probably going to be very really sad, though. It matters whether I'm Melazine or a human. I don't believe Master would suddenly disappear for no reason. There must have been something she just had to do. In the new world, they bade farewell to the Shrouded Sun. At last, they no longer needed to dwell on their suffering or try to differentiate between... That's a really nice looking smoke effect. Such was the price they paid, and thus their souls became cleansed and pure. I guess this is the part of the, the story that Dane's Lift usually appears in, but... He's <laughs> Oh, yes, Verena's back. There he is. 
That's why you have a human appearance. Karina's coming back in the story. I'm so excited. I am the one walking into a trap. One day, I shall have my vengeance. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. Captain Dainsleff could accomplish his own goal. The loom of fate has already been completed. Loom of fate. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be so Try good. I can tell. Ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? I don't think he does. I don't think he believes that. I think he understands there has to be a reason, and that's the reason he keeps going. She because she told him to. She she said you have to keep going on your journey that she already went on once. So she, he's just following basically her words. He, he has faith in her. I'm sure. Um, yeah. Oh man, this is going to be heart wrenching. I know it is. And I'm excited for it. <laughs> and yeah, once this is, uh, this is over, it's going to be the next, uh, the next region. I'm also glad that this um, this update has pretty skippable characters like Clarand and uh, the Melusine whose name I forgot. Uh, <laughs> there's a teaser out, but I'm probably going to hold off on that until her other stuff comes out. Again, I'm not very interested in her or uh, Sijuin, remembered her name. Um I do like that these kinds of characters exist because it lets me save for characters that I actually do want. Maybe I'll get Farina to like a higher, uh, <laughs> a higher constellation. Kind of was thinking about that. Maybe make her sword better. I think out of all the characters, Farina might be the one I eventually decide to get to C6. Like the only character. She's just way too good in every way for me not to do that. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to version 4.7's trailer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.